TJ. Uh, hey, um, you guys might be wondering, well, of course it's TJ, duh, what's gonna be? Well, hey, you guys uh, might be wondering, why is his voice so high? Well, um, the reason is, I sped uh, this thing up a little bit because the time limit is between three and four minutes, and so I figured if I sped it up, you know, uh, maybe I could get it within the time limit. So, okay, here's the deal. Today, we're gonna be talking about the golden ratio. Not the silver ratio, not the bronze ratio, not the semi-blue sort of metallic, in, in a way, ratio. The golden ratio. And why is the golden ratio so great? Because it's amazing. It's picture perfect. It's awesome, because, I mean, if you think about it, and Matthew always learning about, yay, we're learning about the golden ratio today, whoop you freaking do but it's actually really awesome, I mean, think about it, I mean, look, this probably is the golden ratio, somewhere in the square, odds are, I'm not really sure, well, okay, I'm just gonna start talking about stuff I actually found online, actual facts now, because I'm starting to sort of sound like a re- The golden ratio can be found, like, everywhere, it can be found in, um, art, architecture, uh, nature, anything, I mean, seriously, even on people. The golden ratio is such a wonderful thing, actually. You might be thinking, how is the golden ratio so great? Well, the reason it's so great is because, think of it this way. Everything that's sort of like a square, in a way, like a rectangle-ish, odds are, like, like an ID card, like this. Papa John's. Great example of the golden ratio. I mean, look at this thing. It's beautiful. I mean, just the shape of it is just pleasant to the eye. It's amazing. Makes you just want it, doesn't it? But, right now, a lot of you guys are probably saying to yourself, What is the golden ratio? I need to know! And that's okay. Not everybody knows what the golden ratio is, and that's why we watch these things, to learn. Basically, the golden ratio is, um, like, a ratio between the length and width of a rectangle, um, which is like, I can't remember, it was like, 1.61803398874984848820. Something like that. Um, well basically, people think that ratio of a rectangle is, like, supposed to be the most pleasing to the eye, as I said with that, um, card I just lost. Here's another example. It was found by these, like, really old Greek people. And basically, almost everything is, like, sculpted and, like, made and stuff from the golden ratio just so it looks more pleasing to other people. But it's not just squares. Well, it is. But, I mean, it's not just in squares where you find the golden ratio. Take this picture of a seashell, alright? You see it and you're like, hmm, what is that? And I'll tell you. It's a seashell. But, it's not just a seashell. It's a very special, important seashell. Like, if you look at that little diagram, it shows, like, um, the seashell. And then, if you look at that diagram... It will show you uh, the golden ratio inside of the swirls of the seashell. And you know, it's cool and all, but, you know, you know. I mean, you see little kids and oh, that shell looks so cool, it's so swirly. They should be saying, oh, that shell's so cool, look at the golden ratio. No, seriously. Well, let's take a look at art. Look at this, the Mona Lisa. Look from one nostril to the other nostril, and from that side of her nostril to her cheek, and then from that, taken to the center of her nose, down to, like, her chin. So, like, basically, like, here and here to, like, there. That's the... Whoa, it is. Another good example, as I'm demonstrating up there by that picture, or this picture entitled Holy Family by Michelangelo. I don't like this one. But it's also a very good example of the golden ratio, whether you like it or not. Or look at the pyramids, which I think is the most interesting, because the pyramids were made by really old people, and they died. Because back then, they didn't have, like, iPods or anything. So without iPods, I mean, how are you going to make a pyramid? Duh. But they did it, and somehow, they even got the PHI... I think it's five, something like that. It's some Greek numeric number named from, for some sculpture thing. That's not really important, but just the more you know. But seriously, the pyramids, they're designed too. Looking pleasant to the eye, the golden ratio is amazing. Awesome. Hey guys, it's TJ. What was that? That wasn't like a way, it was like a... It wasn't even right. Let's try again. But I know right now, a lot of you guys are probably saying, what is the golden ratio? But, right now, a lot of you guys are probably saying to yourself, that's it. The golden ratio can be found in many types of art, uh, nature, agriculture, art, what can be found? Wiki, the wiki you are Are you serious? That's like the best one! What the heck, Miss Hoffman? How could you do this? How could you do this to us? All these poor children in Japan, they're starving from starvation because they don't have any food. They're starving because of it. You know why? Because you won't let kids write about the Parthenon. That's the reason I'm doing this project. You know what? I was gonna have some fun with this project if I did it with Anthony when we did it with partners. But this is all alone. I had to do this. I had to settle for this. And what? I can't do that. I had a whole freaking speech about that building. And look, we can't do it. Look, you freaking do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do it. 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 I'm gon